It's a problem we're having. I've been away for the last uh, couple days going to Carrot Camp and um, staying away while the hurricane was coming. I don't remember the name of the hurricane, but the hurricane came. It didn't do any damage to my area, Winston-Salem, but one thing it did do is add more rain than we usually have, and we were testing the, uh, the boundaries of the basement. Now, typical in an older home like this that has a basement, there's gonna be some water leaks. We did some minor adjustments in the beginning. They didn't hold through for hurricane type rains. So what we're gonna have to do now is literally, as you can see, the entire uh, bottom part, not the entire part, but most of the, the basement, the brand new sheetrock we just put in a week ago, we had to tear out the bottom part in order to do some new caulking on the inside. And then on the outside, we're gonna dig 200 feet of French drain around the entire house, leading the water away from the house out to the uh, drainage in the front yard. So this is just another hiccup in a project. It's just, uh, it just is what it is. You know, I can't really be frustrated about it, but um, my team and myself are gonna do the work inside. We're not gonna hire out for this because the cost on this last night, we got an estimate was around seven grand. So renting the equipment, buying all the material, we're at about a thousand bucks, actually about $1,300. And then, you know, obviously our labor is our labor, but way cheaper than seven grand. So go from LA to here and on the tractor or tra tracto and Backo tractor, or whatever you want to call it, and it's going to take us all day, but we're going to get it done and save some money. So we got to get this project done on time. I'm giving myself two weeks to get this all done. I know I said that before, but I'm for real this time. So here we go. I'll see you guys later. damage that uh, the hurricane did, which wasn't much. It's just that this basement is prone to flooding because it needed some extra French drain and then all the rain we had from the hurricane didn't help. So now we're having to put a French drain around the whole, whole house, 200 feet of it. But doing this ourselves saved us over seven grand from doing the alternative. So, you know, I'll be in a Lambo next week, last week, and then Traco this week. It doesn't matter. I got to do what it takes to get done. And this is a part of the 5% contingency that you guys should have set aside when you're doing a rehab project, five to 10% of uh-ohs. And this is a uh-oh that's not gonna cost us a lot of money, around a thousand bucks, but it could have cost us eight, seven to $8,000 to get a professional to come out here and do it. Same thing, YouTube videos, learn how to do it, but Francis has done it before, and Noe has done it before, so I'm just running the Traco because I had the most recent experience in, in the Traco, so watch me work. that door for me. What? <coughs> What's that? Hold on. Then, um, that appointment wasn't even a podium. Like, the, whose lead was that? I don't know. I know, because I've never seen a house before. Yeah, I don't think it came through from, from what you call it. Anywho, you're on your three month, yeah. we're close to 90 days. Um, just kind of see what you're feeling, how you feel, you've grown, what you've learned, and, and what your thoughts are, you know, moving forward. Yeah. What have you learned? Kind of. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about talking to sellers, I'm learning about negotiation, I'm learning about how the business really works. Mm -hmm. um, just basically learning how to really accomplish major things in this business. Are you feeling more comfortable on the phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot more. What do you say is one of the biggest, maybe preconceived thoughts that you had about what it was going to be like and it's different? 
like as far as like your your on the phone ability, like what you're doing on the phone. Um. Well, when I first when you first talked about it, I thought it was gonna be like you know, I thought it was gonna be very challenging, but I learned that you just get better at your time. That's it. Yeah. How many dials do you think you've made in the last three months? <laughs> um, probably like over ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. How are you liking the REI rail? Love it. The RVM system. Yeah. I mean, it, it tells me who's calling. I don't have to sound like I don't know what I'm doing. You know. And now, like, I'm an expert when they call. And that's kind of the main reason we built that is so that when you're when you when you put out those calls and the calls are coming back, I mean, I was looking over your shoulder the other day and that doctor called in. It even had a picture of him where he got his doctorate degree, yeah. what practice he works at, what type of practice. And those are all like conversation sparkers and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, so, I mean, what do you just kind of how you how you feel moving forward? You comfortable? Yeah, definitely. Because what I'm going to start doing is throwing more responsibility at you. Um, I know you're understanding probate when now you're you're learning how to pull probate. What do you think? What do you think is your favorite lead type right now, and why? <laughs> why and why do you think so? Um, it's it's so direct you can't beat it. You know, um, it, it's basically you know it's automatically that person's number because that's the number that they gave the courthouse for them. So it's. Almost a ninety percent chance that you're gonna get in contact with that person. Yeah, and it's more direct. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, you're gonna start doing. You're doing a lot of outbound. We're gonna route some more inbound stuff to you. I think your growth is good. I think you're a hustler. I think you're a perfect fit. I mean, you can't really teach. I can teach you this game, this business all day long, but I can't really teach your hustle. Yeah. So your hustle's been good. Um. Yeah, your your house has been good, and I think I think you're gonna do well for sure. So there's more we start throwing some stuff at you, and um, don't forget we need to start sending out those those uh, double tap email uh, mail letters for probate. Yeah. So as you call, we'll follow up with just uh, you know, hey Lewis, I talked to you over the phone type thing. Um, <coughs> other than that, you got any feedback from me? Um, anything you would see change or anything like that? No, nah, I just appreciate it, honestly. Could Absolutely. Be Absolutely. So hopefully you continue to grow. Like I said, you learn from me, you learn from Tony on some of the tactics and talking to more and more. And then today you went out on your first appointment. You see how that works. You don't be afraid of that part. You see how easy that was? Yeah. Yeah. So we went in there and <laughs> we knocked that out the park. Yeah. So um, that's a good thing. Um, all right, so when you go back in there, just get Addy the information for that guy. Matter of fact, send, send Addy in here when you're done so I can tell her who to talk to, but get her that information on that guy because I want her to call him and tell him that we're going to meet him here. He, the address to this place and that we're going to meet him here in the morning and sign the contract. Okay, gotcha. Cool? Cool. All right. So we just did our three month wrap up with Lewis. Uh, Lewis has actually blown me away with how fast he's picked up his confidence to be able to get on the phone. Um, he, he does things outside of here that's different. He goes out at night sometimes and puts out bandit signs just to understand what it's like. Um, three o'clock in the morning, usually the first one in the office. So, I mean, it's a good pickup. Um, like I said, you know how random he's came in here and got a job. So my gut instinct was correct about him. and. He's, he's a hustler, he went on his first appointment today. He got to see me get a house for 50% from what the owner thought they wanted. Um, and he's gonna grow and he's making phone calls. He's not bashful, he doesn't even need a script anymore. He feels real comfortable. Um, using REI Rail has helped him a lot. Uh, be confident. So, you know, this game can be taught. His hustle, his, his hustle, I couldn't have taught him that. And he, he's a true hustler. It was a hustler from the day he met me coming to this office and how he met me, um, but teaching him how to get on the phones and teaching him how now he can leave here and go do anything. He can go sell insurance and sales is the most important thing to any business, point blank period. If you don't have sales in a business, you don't have a business. So I'm glad to have him on a team. Hopefully he stays as long as he's comfortable staying and he grows into acquisition or managed position 
and then grows into maybe getting his own office in a different market once we start expanding. So there goes the update on Lewis, man. And I know this vlog wasn't a, uh, a lot to do with wholesaling and stuff like that, but you know, we had to, we had to go take care of that project. Obviously we're all changed up and everything now, but we had to go knock that, that drainage out and we're back, back here and the team is getting deals. Um, so I think we're, we're on a good pathway, man. I feel like that we're gonna end this year strong. So if you guys have been watching this far, you know what I say, please give me a thumbs up, like the video, please subscribe and, and uh, kind of comment on what you, how you, how long you think or how good you think Lewis is doing or you know, give me some feedback on what you guys think about Lewis in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.